All right. Good morning, you guys. We've got our Good Day Cooks. And coming up next weekend is the Field Guide Festival. And you guys are here to help us talk about it. Trisha, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, so Field Guide Festival is a food system festival that really celebrates the abundance that Central Texas has to offer. Um, all of our chefs, which we have um, 19 like, yeah. chefs and uh, 17 farmers this year, oh, wow. are paired together to present dishes at the festival um, that are healthy and fresh and all sourced from local uh, farms. Oh, and nice. Places. And it's, you know, sounds like all kinds of beautiful food, and you guys got some beautiful food going on right in front of us. Tell us about what you're cooking. Uh, so today we're going to be making some tacos. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to uh, the... Uh, Texas Farmer's Market at Lakeline yesterday Perfect. to pick up some ingredients for us. So um, we have some fresh tortillas from uh, Mercados en Nombre, which you guys can go and visit at uh, the Mueller Farmer's Market today. Okay. Uh, we have some pea shoots, mustard greens, um, some pickled uh, turnips, and then some salsa matcha. So it we're going to get going. So yeah, kind of walk us through the process, maybe. So we, um, we're just going to heat up our tortillas. Um, we, just, uh, we just seared this uh, duck breast not too long ago, so we're letting it rest. Um, so we're going to uh, we're gonna heat up the tortillas and then just kind of start assembling. Um, so I always personally like to always add a little bit of fresh citrus uh, when making tacos. So we have some fresh lime here as well. Um, and, uh, and yeah, like I said, everything uh, comes from the farmer's market. And um, yeah, every, everything is uh, like super, super locally sourced, which is really That's important awesome. to us. Yeah, and this is a dish that people can actually try at the fest, is that correct? Um, so this one, no, okay. um, but, but these are all like, you know, like I said, ingredients yeah. that you can get local. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So you're just doing something cool and fun for us. Yeah, yeah, yes. exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. So this is a great example. Coulter is one of the chefs that we're gonna feature at uh, the festival, but coulter has been working with a lot of local farmers in um, Austin and getting to know them and really building those relationships. And that's what this festival is all about. It's helping the community start to connect faces with the names that you might see on the menu yeah. at a restaurant. Oh, that's right. cool. And the yeah. fresh ingredients is so important because people eat stuff full of preservatives all the time. And when something's fresh and not frozen and it's good better. for you, yes, it tastes so much better. And if people want to go to the festival, how can they go about doing that? So we are actually sold out for this year. Oh, but yes. next year, next, <laughs> next year. year. Yes. Mark the so, calendars. <laughs> yes, so stay tuned. So we're going to be uh, right around Earth Day again next year for the festival. So you'll be able to buy tickets as soon as this one's over. We're going to get tickets on sale for next year. I well. mean, that's just a sign of how unique and how yummy the food must be if you guys sold out that already. You yes, know, that's very that's exciting. exciting. I think we're seeing kind of a resurgence in, in interest in local foods. So yeah, exciting, as so. it should be, you know. It's good, I for, think it's good it's, for everybody it's and It's the second year of it, right? It is the second year. Right. We've done a few extra little events, some picnics and things, but yeah, this is the second uh, full-scale festival. That's really exciting. Yeah. It's what other awesome. kind of foods will, will be there? Is there any kind of dish that you're really looking forward to people trying? Yeah, so we're featuring all, all kinds of different farmers and purveyors. We have a local seafood company that sources um, from all Gulf seafood. We have beekeepers, uh, mycologists, there's going to be mushroom dishes. Um, you'll find sweet, savory, and plant-based dishes. You can find all of them. Yeah, so a little bit of everything for, for everyone. And again, nothing nothing better than fresh. And this is looking really good. This is good. so fresh right now. <laughs> yes. It smells good, which we know you guys can't smell yet. We're no. working on it. Yeah, yeah still working on the smell of vision yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ours. Nobody can take it. No. <laughs> so yeah, what have you done right now? What's, so, what's on our taco? So we just uh, we just uh, sliced, the, sliced the duck breast. Um, I put some salsa matcha, um, which is a traditional Mexican condiment made with uh, you know nuts, uh, aromatics, and uh, dried chilies. Mm -hmm. And then um, we put some of the the pickled uh, turnip on there for a little bit of acid. And then uh, we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of uh, fresh pea shoots. Uh, mustard greens and then okay. that final squeeze of lime. Ooh, nice. Okay. So pretty much. They're really pretty. They are. And also really pretty as is all these wildflowers that you guys put together. This and, is so cute. Yeah. Who needs to go to the store and buy them when you can have fresh flowers? Make sure you're not picking yeah. poison ivy. No, yes. don't <laughs> Yeah, I had it for a little while. It uh -huh. actually left a scar on me, but hopefully that goes away. It's like a discoloration. Yeah. Uh, anyway, be careful <laughs> with poison ivy. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, okay, so 
Is it done? So is yeah, it? we're we're pretty much good to go. Um, and then as a, as an option, um, sometimes if I'm uh, you know feeling a little bit extra, I'll, I like to add um, a little bit of prosciutto to the tacos okay. as well. well that's so extra. I have it's some Sunday. of this prosciutto. You're um, all here with us. So. From uh, <laughs> exactly from Bellevue Farms. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah, after that we are we're all good to go. Sweet. They look gorgeous. They do. And this is happening next Saturday at Fiesta Gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, Fiesta Gardens, yep. From 1 to 5 p.m. Perfect. Um, we're going to have all sorts of beverages. We have a, a non-alcoholic beverage selection as well as Perfect. Nice. the, the local yeah. Austin um, Tito's and Desert Door and all of that. Um, and then we'll have lots of food and uh, we'll finish it off with some live music. We'll have a mariachi band that will oh, be fun. super fun. Ooh, how fun. Happy hour to kind of hang out with all of the chefs and farmers. Yeah, and a heads up and make sure you sign up next year yeah. if you didn't get the chance to go this year. But if you're going to already, definitely check it out. Then I'm have jealous fun. of you. Yeah, me too. I'm going to try this. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to just not try it. You, know? <laughs> you try it. I'll watch. I don't know. I don't want to make a huge mess, but come on, <laughs> slide this over. Yeah, yesterday I ate something on TV. It was so spicy. I'm not going to do that again. Good? That's really good. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it after you.